Welcome to my channel. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Chelsea and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Hey girl. So as you guys can see, I'm in a bonnet today. So you know, we're about to install a wig today. So I'm going to actually have my glasses on this entire video because I didn't realize, but I actually finished all my contact lenses. Um, and the wig that we're installing today is from Wiggins. It's the one at the back over there. I did go ahead and customize the wig. Um, thank you so much to Wiggins for sponsoring this video. So the wig will come in a plastic bag and um, this wig is a 13 by 4 lace frontal which is 24 inches. It's a curly wig and in the package I got a pack of wig caps, a pair of lashes, an edge brush and an edge band. So um, before we get into the video please make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into the video. Alright so here is the hair that we're gonna be installing today. I think it's a deep wave if I'm not wrong. I'm still learning the type of waves that are there but I think this is a deep. Let me know if you guys would want a video of me bleaching knots. I think I've sort of perfected um how to do it well let me not say perfected but uh i've got quite good at doing it properly so let me know if you guys would like a video about that this is how the wig looks on the inside i did tell you guys that it's a 13 by 4. it comes with the two clips on the side the one at the bottom and it also has these adjustable straps if you want to make the wig tight or loose depending on the size of your head and um we're gonna go straight ahead and get into the install When I put the wig on the first time, it felt very big. I don't remember the size of the wig cap, but it felt very big and like it felt like it was floating <laughs> on my head. So what I've done, the straps at the back, the ones that look like brass straps, I just like crisscross them and now it fits very nicely, very secure. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this with my glasses on. <laughs> So I've cut the A tabs and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue down the wig and for gluing down I'll use the Ebon Wonder Lace Bond. I've really been loving this instead of Got To Be. I used to use Got To Be and I'm just wondering how I'm gonna do this because if I take off these glasses I will not see a thing. Right, so you guys already know it's a voiceover from this part and I have already like done a voiceover about this so many times but let me tell you the struggle to cut this lace was impeccable. I could not see to save my life okay and I think this lace is HD. I can't actually remember I'm gonna find the details of the wig but cutting this without my glasses and without contact lenses a whole nightmare but anyway we still managed to do it and now I'm just going in with a bit of the Ebon Wonder Lace Bond to just melt down the bits that weren't fully melted and as you guys can see it's I didn't like the wig being that full so I'm, I just went ahead and did a bit of plucking at the front I had actually plucked it a little when I was customizing the wig but I really like it when my wigs don't look too too full because i wanted to look as realistic as possible so that's why i went ahead and plucked and i decided to do a side part well i wasn't really i didn't really put the hair but like i just wanted the hair to fall on the side so that's what i'm doing over here and i was gonna go ahead and do my baby hair so that's why i took out this hair at the front so now because this is a, is a curly wig well it's a loose deep wave i don't know if that's curly i don't know what that means but anyway it's curly so we're going ahead with some water to just wet the hair this really activates the curls i love this hair you guys i can't even explain it to you guys 
the quality of this hair let me just say this i've got two curly wigs but this one the curls were impeccable so soft the hair is so pretty it was just so nice to work my hands through this hair and i did go ahead and use the anti jackie's leave-in conditioner but as you guys can see i was running out so i didn't really have much of it so i went ahead and added some mousse as well just helping to activate those curls and then just brushing through the hair guys look at how soft oh man i wish you guys could actually feel what i'm feeling as i'm brushing this hat So at this point i wanted to add a bit of shine so i've been using this moroccan um argan oil it smells really really good and it adds so much shine to the hair i love how it looks when i spread it on the hair as you guys can see the hair is glowing it's shining it looks so good at this point guys i can't explain to you how much i love this hair like i'm not even just saying this because they sponsored this video i genuinely really really love this hair brushing through i oh man can you guys see i feel like you can be able to see like through the video because i can even tell through the video that the hair just looks so soft really good quality it was so nice to brush the hair in fact i even ended up over brushing because i just kept brushing and brushing and brushing until the curls sort of fell amazing i couldn't fault this hair even one bit honestly guys please run to their website right now and literally run and get this hair for yourself i highly recommend it and now the install is done looking amazing as always the hair looks so good on me i really love the curly look on my face i feel like it really really complements my face and um as always all the details will be included in the description box if you guys love this unit you can get it for yourself Let me know if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you once again to Wiggins for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye!